This video is a product buyer's guide intended for gift givers and adult collectors. Before when I met you, I never saw. No one ever saw. The way that you look now is all I know. Yeah, is all I know. So forget about the past. You and I could be last in. This time we could be last in. Hey guys, welcome to Toy Chat. This is Max. And Sang. Rainbow High is officially onto its fifth core line of new dolls. And in today's video, we'll be giving in-depth reviews of all six characters in Series 5, including Victoria Whitman, Priscilla Perez, Michelle St. Charles, Olivia Woods, Kim Nguyen, and Aiden Russell. If you missed our review of all six Shadow High Series 2 dolls, it'll be linked in the description below. In that very video, I made a point to reference how badly I wanted an Aiden doll. Well, sure enough, just about a week later, Rainbow High Series 5 leaked, which we covered in our last podcast episode, and the roster indeed included Aiden. Having been the only member of the A's to not have his own doll, this edition felt very overdue, but the fandom's reception to his doll has been polarizing, to say the least. This isn't the only hot discussion topic surrounding Series 5, but don't worry, we'll cover all the good, the bad, and the tea in today's review. Aside from Aiden, we haven't met any of these other new characters in the animated series since the season 3 finale, but there are some hints that their stories might be very fashion-centric, which we'll circle back to later. One interesting question that's come up for these is, are they actually called Series 5? Many fans noticed that what had been widely referred to as Shadow High Series 2 did not actually sport a Series 2 label on the packaging. Although our MGA PR contact did refer to that line as Series 2, this numbering moniker seems to be increasingly ambiguous. The official Rainbow High Instagram gave these dolls a different title entirely, referring to them as the Spring 23 line. We aren't completely sure of the deeper meaning behind this, if any, but it's possible this collection could be considered as something separate from Series 1 through 4, or maybe the brand just wants to distance itself from any direct continuity there because of the changes to packaging and secondary outfits. Regardless, we'll be sticking with Series 5 as it's the title commonly used among collectors. Their Rainbow Spectrum order is another fairly ambiguous factor given there has been some debate over which color Victoria's Strawberry Blonde actually represents, and Aiden is apparently standing in for Violet. Anyway, we're just going to present these in the same order they're shown on Rainbow High's socials. All right, as always, there's plenty to discuss with these new dolls, and you know we won't shy away from our honest thoughts by the end. Make sure to hit that subscribe button and notification bell to never miss a thing here on Toy Chat, and from there, let's begin. We found all six of these dolls at Target, priced at $26.99 each. This cost is a bit surprising to collectors for a few reasons. It marks the return of Rainbow High's original price point when it was first released in 2020. However, this is $2 more than the recently released Shadow High Series 2. As we discussed in that review, the new lower price point seems to be a trade-off since these recent waves of dolls have accessories in place of second outfits, which used to be a brand staple. Is this a fair change or could there be reason behind it? We'll have a larger discussion addressing this later in the video. Links to purchase each character online through Target.com will be in the video description below. Navigate to the listing's DPCI number in the product details to track them down in stores. Packaging for Rainbow High Series 5 is similar to Series 2 Shadow High redesign, with slimmer boxes sporting iridescent lettering. Just like previous waves, Rainbow High and Shadow High have reverse box layout of each other. In the case of Rainbow High, the logo is to the left, and we once again see the cool 3D effect character artwork, this time at the right. There's even more unique artwork inside the box backdrop. All six of these characters share a fashion design focus, something that this line shares with Shadow High Series 2. Some fans were confused by this since Aiden's storyline in the series left the impression that he was a music focus. In his new character bio, however, we learned that this change was encouraged by his friends, the A's, after he felt creatively boxed in. Most of the other Series 5 characters also share bios that relates in some way to costuming, styling, or fashion. Recent leaks also claim that there are upcoming dolls, potentially the Core 6, in their one-way looks. 
This line's title is speculated to be Project Rainbow. If the leaks are accurate, this likely be a spoof of Project Runway and contribute to the possibility of season four of the anime series focusing heavily on fashion design. And maybe another competition show? The back of each series five box is once again similar to Shadow High, featuring cropped artwork of two characters. The description reads, Rainbow High doesn't follow trends, we make them. Watch out, Shadow High, in the world of fashion, we always make the cut. All right, let's unbox and get a closer look. First up, we have Victoria Whitman, who represents strawberry blonde or light pink on the color spectrum. While Victoria isn't the first Rainbow High doll to have freckles, she is the first to have them all over her body. We'll take a closer look at that in just a bit. Victoria has grayish light blue eyes with a blue to green gradient shine. She has short copper brown eyebrows. Her eyeshadow looks quite natural with warm brown on the top lids. There are thin white lines beneath her eyes, which we initially couldn't confirm as an intentional design choice or defect, though we've noticed it on other Victorias and the positioning can vary a bit. Her lips are almost nude, a very light peach pink. The portions where her upper lip arches are painted a dark rosy pink. They really make an impression and almost have that similar delicate airbrushed look to vintage or porcelain dolls. If you look closely, you'll notice another really cute and unique detail, her light brown eyelashes. Victoria has long wavy strawberry blonde hair that reaches her knees. The majority of her hair is a light blonde followed by sections of a reddish light brown. Her hair is parted in the middle with two braids tied back. We don't see too many rainbow high dolls with natural leaning hair colors, so this does make her stand out. She wears gold colored drop earrings with translucent pearlescent flower pieces. These are really pretty. The flowers look like Lily of the Valley, also known as Maybell's. White painted pearl details are on the stud and gold bars. Victoria is wearing a summery outfit consisting of a matching powder pink ruffle top and skirt. She's from Australia, according to her bio, and this light outfit would definitely help her keep cool in the Southern Hemisphere's heat. The top is delicately embroidered with small flowers, including tiny white beading as the pistols. The outfit's pink ruffle fabric makes up the petals. It ties up at the back with a thick warm gold string. The second layer of fabric underneath has just the pearly beading. Another layer of light pink fabric is sewn on and covers the bust underneath. The top bears a bit of midriff and she wears a matching ruffle skirt that's dotted in the pearly white beading. As we've seen in the past, be careful as these pieces can fall off. There are five ruffle layers alternating with and without beads. Victoria's shoes are pretty simple, being dark pink strappy heels with sculpted bows over the toes. There are gold RH emblems at the back. Some of the cutest details on Victoria are those on her body sculpt. In addition to having freckles from her head to her feet, her knees and hands are lightly blushed in a rosier color. Just like Shadow High Series 2, the Rainbow High Series 5 doll accessories are made up pretty much entirely of reprint variants. Victoria has a light pink hairdryer we previously saw with the Rainbow Divas. She also has a large 11 pan makeup palette with the Versace inspired icon at the center. The palette itself is slightly translucent with a functional mirror and the rainbow logo in gold over the top corner. It looks like Victoria is scrolling Instagram on her pastel pink phone, which comes complete with a glittery translucent case. Finally, she has a pearly pink sewing machine, and of course, this sculpt debuted with Jet Dawson. This reprint functions in the exact same way. Victoria is the only character in Series 5 who thinks pink. Here's Priscilla Perez, representing a vibrant shade of flamingo pink. Her eyes and eyebrows are both a warm brown, transitioning from light to dark in the iris. A white cat eye liner is drawn above her upper lids, with a smoky tear of dark pink above that. She wears bright hot pink lipstick, and we notice some Priscilla's lips have a sparkly shimmer while others look more matte. Priscilla's long hair has one section tied off to her right, while the rest flows loosely in wavy curls down past her waist. It's a vivid neon pink color that looks so saturated, we had a hard time picking up its true tone on camera. It can look more orange or red in certain lighting. Here she is side by side with our feature girl, Stella Monroe. As you can see, they're actually pretty different. Stella's palette uses much cooler tones. Priscilla wears metallic gold hoop earrings with a trio of drop attachments. An iridescent gem dots the base, while light pink gems decorate the hoop and drop details. Priscilla's catchphrase is life is a fiesta, and she definitely looks like she's ready to get the party started. In this flashy outfit, she wears a flamingo pink slip dress with ribbon shoulder straps. The bust section is decorated with twinkling pink gems. A split layer of fabric wraps around the waist down to the trim. 
She wears a matching pink belt with a metallic gold RH buckle. The belt fabric is dotted with more pink gems. Although some of these details give the illusion of separate pieces, everything here is sewn together into one garment, including the belt. It velcros closed at the back. Priscilla also wears opera-length fingerless pleather gloves in a warm salmon pink. They have pink ribbons at the sides laced through gold loopholes. It's tied into a cute bow at the top. She has long pink nails, of course. What might be her most defining fashion piece, however, is this bright pink ruffle stole. It comes complete with clear rubber bands, which you can use to secure the stole to her shoulders. Two pieces are separated at the ends with string-like dangling little pom-pom decorations. Priscilla wears hot pink pumps with block heels. There are three straps at the ankles that have buckle details painted gold. These shoes might have been inspired by the Valentino Disco Box platform pump which are missing the extra straps. We did, however, find closer matches to her shoes on sites like Amazon and Alibaba. Let us know if you can find a closer match. Let's check out Priscilla's accessories. She has a trio of different size makeup brushes, all in translucent hot pink. Her reprinted four pan makeup palette comes in a matching style and color. She has matching lip gloss, which once again really opens up. Seems like she's checking out Instagram fashion posts on her phone. You can put it inside this sparkly orange pink case decorated in a gold R monogram. On her laptop, we get a closer view of what looks like fashion designs in Photoshop. The top of her laptop has a gold rainbow emblem. Next up, we have the neon orange Michelle St. Charles. In our previous reaction video, we mentioned we thought Michelle had a similar color scheme to Mina, but now that we have Michelle in person, we can see her palette is much more vibrant. If anything, she seems to share more tones with Poppy Rowan. Michelle's eyes are warm cinnamon brown with red and yellow shines. She has bold metallic silver eyeshadow over her lids, followed by a smoky gray. Her lower eyelids are a soft apricot orange. Her lips are a bright pearlescent orange with a white center and darker line airbrushed across her teeth, creating a grinning expression. The appearance of this screening varies quite a bit in stores, and we've noticed a few Michelles with splotchy or blurry smiles. Michelle is one of the few characters to receive a short hairstyle. Her hair is predominantly neon orange with lighter orange highlights and molded baby hairs decorating her hairline. She has a center part with the front hair tied back with clear rubber bands. Her hair reaches midway down her back and there's a slight inward curl to the ends. Although the promo images show Michelle's hair as sleekly gelled down, it's styled pretty haphazardly in stores in what almost resemble poofy pigtails. The one seen here is just after a light water spritz and brushing, but we'll share the results of a full water and conditioning on Michelle's hair a bit later. She also wears four silver hair clips in her hair. These are inspired by the font style of the brand Diesel. There's an R hair clip along with an H, then an RH clip, and finally a clip that reads rainbow. These are meant to simply slide on, and unfortunately they don't stay in place very well. She has on dangle hoop earrings. There are clear orange gems in the earring studs. The hoops are two tones, silver and orange. Michelle has on a clear vinyl hoodie. There's text that reads Rainbow High since 2020 that is also repeated on the back, boxed text that reads Sparkle and Turn Up Your Color, as well as Rainbow High. The other side reads Sparkle repeated three times, Los Angeles, California, 2022, and Rainbow High. There's a faux zipper detail at the front. The hoodie has a functioning drawstring that's orange. Her sleeves have repeated lettering along with Japanese katakana that translates to Rainbow High. A similar style of jacket included in Amaya Rain's first release caused a lot of mobility issues on the doll, but luckily Michelle is actually quite poseable in this. Her orange mini dress is a recreation of the Diesel MRC logo plaque mini dress. This piece has been worn by various K-pop stars, including Red Velvet's Joy and Espa's Karina. Special thanks to Lauren in the comments of our last podcast for pointing us in the right direction of this inspo. Of course, Michelle's centerpiece R represents Rainbow High instead of the D for Diesel. This is an actual opening in the fabric. We didn't notice in the promo images for her, but this dress actually has a really pretty sparkly shine to it. The collar and hemline are lined in a white latex fabric. It opens in the back with Velcro. 
This belt is a direct reprint of MGA's previous doll line, Project MC Squared. The belt was originally used for Cameron Cole in the Masquerade line, that experiment being titled Cameron's Nail Polish. Fun fact, we reviewed that very doll many years ago. Michelle's belt is a translucent orange with silver painted details. Michelle has on white slouch boots. There are white straps at the top with key locks and the RH logo on each. There are embroidered zippers on the inside of the boots with fake zipper pullers. The heels are translucent orange with a unique flat heel shape. These boots might be partially inspired by the Givenchy G-Lock leather boots. You can see similarities in the wedge heels and lock piece. Michelle comes with this reprinted makeup palette, this time in translucent orange. Looks like she's been re-watching the Rainbow Vision competition on YouTube on her phone. Her phone case is glittery translucent orange with the same font as her jacket. Her sunglasses are a reprint of Margot's sunglasses here in orange, of course. They have a really cute sparkle compound to them. While Michelle already has a pair of earrings, she does also come with a pair of AirPods if you want to swap them out. Or maybe Aiden can borrow these. Finally, Michelle has an orange reusable cup to stay hydrated. Representing the color olive green is our girl Olivia Woods. She has light caramel brown eyes with light green shines. She has bold metallic gold eyeshadows on her top eyelid, followed by a layer of smoky gray, and then a layer of khaki green. Finally, there's a thin layer of glitter over the gold. The bottom eyelid eyeshadow is a muted moss green. Olivia has some painted freckles over her cheeks and nose. Her lips are painted a glossy coral pink. Olivia's hair is thick and lush and it reaches just past her knees. Her hair is a blend of three different green hues, a light matcha green, a pickle green, and a rich seaweed green. Her hair is parted down the middle along with two twisted buns. She has baby hairs that are painted pistachio green and forest green. She has gold color hoop earrings with off-center R and H letters inside. These might be inspired by the Louis Vuitton LV hoop earrings. Olivia wears a green camo jacket. We're pretty impressed by all the details found on this piece. There's a subtle camel print with a custom rainbow high monogram based on LV. The two front pockets have brass button details and are functional. There's a faux zipper and zipper puller. The bottom of the jacket has bunching, and while the drawstrings are not functional, they are a nice added detail. The sleeves feature tan straps and loops. Underneath, she has on a matching top and skirt. Both the top and skirt have tan straps that are surprisingly separate pieces. Yep, that's right, you can remove the straps while keeping her top and skirt intact. There are large black buckles with the RH emblems on the buckles. Both the top and the skirt have two faux pockets pouches poking out at the bottom each. The skirt does have two front pocket details like buttons, but they do not actually open up. Olivia wears knee-high scrunch boots. It has the same pattern as her jacket. The tan straps details also make an appearance at the opening of the boots. There are gold buckles and black patches with a gold RH emblem on them. There are functional pockets on each boot. The stiletto heel and soles are black. The closest match to these shoes that we found were the Dolce & Gabbana camouflage patchwork boots. Olivia comes with a pair of gold sunglasses with green lens. These are reprints of Phaedra sunglasses. She comes with a blow dryer with a rainbow high custom monogram pattern on it. She comes with three makeup brushes in green. Her makeup palette is green and check out the colors inside. Here we have our first canonically Vietnamese rainbow high character with Kim Nguyen. Representing navy or denim blue, Kim is styled head to toe in blue hues and denim clothing. She has icy blue pupils with an array of colors shining in her eyes. Her top lid eyeshadow consists of elongated graphic liner in black, followed by a thin line of blue, then a metallic silver liner, and finally a fade gray. Her lower eyeshadow features a gorgeous metallic blue graphic liner. Her lips are painted a matte peach pink with lines of black at the creases. Her long black hair has streaks of navy blue. She has blunt cut bangs that we had to regel a bit to flatten out. Her hair is parted in the middle and reaches her calves. It's pretty much straight with a little bit of product. She has silver letter R earrings in acanthus leaf accented font. There's a pear cut gem stud that's blue on each earring. Similar to Heather Grayson from Shadow High, Kim coolly drapes a jacket over her shoulders. 
The moto jacket is made up of pleather sleeves and denim in the torso section. There are faux zippers dividing the pleather and denim front, and there are tan stitching details on the denim. There's a separate buckled belt piece as well. On the inside, you can see two clear rubber loops that help hold the jacket in place over her shoulders. And if you were wondering, yes, she can actually wear the jacket normally as well. This jacket reminds us of the Alexander McQueen black Napa leather and denim basque jacket, though some of the details are missing on Kim's jacket. Underneath, Kim has on a strapless denim mini dress. The front features a panel of lighter colored denim fabric than the rest of the dress. Flipping her around, we can see she has back pockets. There are tan stitching details as well as silver studs. On the right side, we can see a cute embroidered RH patch. There are slits at the respective thigh hemline sections. We couldn't find direct inspiration for this dress, but there is one by D squared that looked somewhat similar. We also want to comment that we had trouble keeping this dress in place since it tended to slip down when we handled the doll. That was our experience anyway. So we wish there was something to secure the dress in place, like clear straps or a non-slip lining interior. Kim, of course, also has navy blue nails. She has on navy blue open toe block heels. The strap is a translucent bluish purple with a silver emblem, an R on the right side shoe, and H on the left. The font is similar to the brand Diesel. Kim comes with a white and silver sewing machine. Her makeup palette has gold, silver, and blue eyeshadow, and the Versace Medusa head logo. Of course, she comes with the signature three makeup brushes. On her phone, she's checking out her Instagram page. Over 2,000 likes on her photo already. Her phone case is glittery and translucent with the same R logo found on her earrings. We'll close out series five with the most familiar character. Here's Aiden Russell of the A's in his debut doll release. It looks like he shares a similar face sculpt to Ash and Rex in his cool calm expression. He has bright blue eyes that transitions to a cool purple in the iris. His lips are painted a slightly peachier color than his skin tone. A lot of fans have commented that Aiden's doll iteration has a pretty different look than his animated series counterpart, particularly in the hair. We're curious what you guys think. Although he has what looks like Ashley Periwinkle hair in the show, his doll uses a base color of pale silver. There's also multicolored highlights in lavender, mint green, and light blue. His hair also includes quite a bit of tinsel, which is of course always controversial among collectors. The hair is styled into a thickly gel faux hawk, with gray flocking at the sides of his head. Many collectors have noticed a wide variance in Aiden's hairstyling quality, sometimes looking pretty awkward in box. This one we have here needed some restyling. And unfortunately, we also noticed that he's thinly rooted, with a large bald spot on his head. Aiden does have earring holes, but he does not come with any earring accessories. Aiden wears his signature outfit from the animated series. Although once again, some creative liberties have been taken in the doll version. Aiden wears what looks like a translucent vinyl jacket in the show, but his doll instead uses a sheer mesh material in a powdery gray color. It has two layers of the same fabric sewn together and faux breast pockets on either side of the front. It's pretty hard to see in photos, but the fabric does have a shimmery iridescent effect when you look closely or hold it up to the light. There's white stitching throughout the whole piece, and although it's very difficult to see over the mesh, we think the jacket does have a light rainbow monogram print that loosely matches the one seen in the animated series. This piece, and possibly its paired necklace, borrows loose inspiration from the Louis Vuitton men's see-through transparent shirt look in the spring-summer 2020 collection. Underneath this jacket, Aiden wears a white t-shirt with a printed rainbow logo in black, with an embroidered safety pin on the right side. Unfortunately, it's noticeably damaged by the plastic ties. This is inspired by the Versace pin logo t-shirt. He also wears a sculpted silver chain necklace with an RH logo at the front. Aiden wears simple whitish gray shorts with functional pockets. A white belt is fastened in functional belt loops. And it has a silver front buckle. A sculpted silver chain with an RH logo hangs off his right side belt loops. Aiden's shoes are translucent white boots with silver painted lace loops and white string laces. The word rainbow is printed in black at the sides of each heel. He also wears white socks with the Dior inspired RH monogram, which we have seen before on characters like Georgia. The shoes are Dior inspired as well, looking quite similar to their spring summer 2020 translucent rubber high top boots. It looks like Aiden's bestie Avery is calling his cell phone. His phone case once again sports the Dior inspired RH monogram in shimmering silver. He has a reprint of the Sparkle logo Thermos, this time in light gray with a silver lid. Aiden's silver laptop features a photo of him with his best friends, the A's, as a screensaver. It has a rainbow logo over the top with a multicolored gradient. 
finally, Aiden can wear a pair of metallic silver shades. A stylized rainbow logo is written over the right lens, and the lens themselves have a slight pearlescent shimmer. Do you recognize this sculpt? It's a reprint of the same glasses worn by Pacific Coast Finn. Fun fact about Aiden, by the way, did you know that similar to Skylar Bradshaw, there's been an inconsistency in the spelling of his name? In the premiere episode of the animated series, he was credited as A-I-D-E-N, but this was corrected in later episodes, and of course, the spelling of his name on the doll and current official bio use an A rather than the E. Each Series 5 doll comes with a display stand in their signature color, and and a hair comb to match. They also have top and bottom clothes hangers, just like Shadow High Series 2. All right, there's a lot to discuss and final thoughts for these, so let's jump straight into that. I think the doll community could mostly agree that Rainbow High as a brand has set a very high standard for itself since it first debuted. The dolls were incredibly detailed, offering luxury brand quality at Playline prices, which in turn made them an amazing value. Because of this, I think we as collectors feel compelled to hold them to this high standard, even as we've watched certain things change, including factors outside MGA's control. If I compare Series 5 solely to similarly priced competition, I'd say they mostly measure right up and in some cases exceed what other $20 to $30 dolls offer. Now, of course, if we're making comparisons within this brand itself, the recent changes become a much tougher pill to swallow. Shadow High Series 2, I think, struck the perfect balance for this new approach, having accessories in place of secondary outfits by pushing very strong and unique design concepts and, of course, coming with a slight price drop. It is pretty odd that Rainbow High Series 5 costs more than those dolls since they are structured the same. One could argue that this was bound to happen either way in these inflation-plagued times, or that Rainbow High is technically a more established brand name than its rival school, but my suspicion is some people will take issue with this price discrepancy. This conversation could be a whole other video, but comment your thoughts below. Victoria is the doll I consider the must-have of the line. There's something both very innocent and nostalgic about her face. I do think her lip screening may be polarizing for some, but I think it's her selling point and is likely to really allure fans of the vintage doll aesthetic. Her earrings are gorgeous, her roughly outfit is so cute, and I love her unique freckles. I'm a big fan of her soft, natural palette. It makes her pretty unique for the brand. Priscilla is a perfectly serviceable pink doll. She looks tailor-made for people who love pink, which does include me. But aside from her vibrant neon coloration, I wouldn't really consider her to stand out much alongside existing pink characters. Although her gem-studded details and fluffy stole are pretty eye-catching, it somehow feels like the rest of her outfit is a little bit unfinished. Maybe something on the dress trim, mesh stockings, or fancier shoes could have helped. Michelle is a doll I had a pretty negative first impression of, largely because she seems a bit like a mix of sporty and mod fashion, which don't resonate with my personal tastes, but my opinion of her kind of 180'd in person. You don't appreciate the shimmery, citrusy vibrance of her dress until you see it up close, and I actually think she comes with the widest variety of accessories to spruce up her look, which these single outfit releases should focus on more. That all being said, the presentation of Michelle in box is a tough sell since her hair is such a mess. I gave mine a good hot rinse with dish soap and then brushed through some leave-in conditioner, and I have to say, I'm obsessed with the result. Her hair is now silky, voluminous, and lovely, but I do still echo the sentiment of many others, noting that this is another missed opportunity for a character with textured hair, something the brand is still very much lacking. Her screening with the spray-painted grin can be very problematic as well, so shop carefully for her. Olivia seems very popular among the community, and I can see why, given she's among the most detailed Series 5 characters. I know this is probably a really unpopular opinion, but because I'm just not a big fan of camo colors in fashions, she didn't totally speak to me personally. But she's an objectively very detailed doll with a gorgeous face, so I'm sure plenty of people will love her. 
I love that we now have a Vietnamese character with Kim, although similar to Priscilla, it feels like her outfit is missing something. It's in a sense kind of like a material palette swap of Heather Grayson's look, but the denim aesthetic is very cute and she has amazing earrings. Aiden, I think will definitely be the most polarizing doll in this line overall. If I don't consider anything else, he's an adorable doll on his own, but as a representation of the character from the animation, I think he's a mixed bag. In MGA's defense, Aiden's short, choppy hairstyle from the show would probably be very difficult to recreate in a doll without using hard sculpting, but I'm not sure why it's not even the same color or why his jacket also looks so different. It's possible this was the best they could do with the resources available. <laughs> Good luck to everyone tackling the struggle of taming his hair. It's hard. I'll admit I'm really biased here because I love Aiden's character and I wanted a doll of him for so long. So even though he's not everything I hoped for, I do still think he's cute and I'm happy to have him. Series five has introduced a lot of changes and I think probably shifted expectations for some collectors, but it does offer some very cute design concepts and characters, despite being what I would call overall spottier than Shadow High series two. After reviewing Shadow High Series 2, I had some reservation and expectations when it comes to the next wave of Rainbow High dolls. We have been talking about the price increases and inflations at length here on the channel, so when it finally came time to see those enacted, it wasn't quite a shock to me, at least with the cuts and changes. But I do offer some suggestions to the MJ team if they're listening to help consumers accept their changes smoothly. I think there should be more universal price standard across both Rainbow and Shadow High. I was trying to figure out why Rainbow High Series 5 is more expensive than Shadow High Series 2. In my personal opinion, both have the same amount of detail and content. In some cases, I think Shadow High Series 2 might have more detail. While I think accessories are nice to have, all of these have been reprints. MJ should invest in more interesting and unique pieces to go with each character. The brand has set a high standard for Playline. I still have to remind myself that even at their current iteration, they are still a great value and are still an exciting thing for me to collect. Though the secondary outfits are still sorely missed. We know there's a lot of conversations and opinions surrounding this line, so we're really curious how you guys feel about Rainbow High Series 5 or the Spring 23 line. Definitely sound off in the comments and let us know. Thank you so much for joining us for this review. We hope you enjoyed it. Our full Rainbow High playlist will be linked on screen here. Make sure to hit that like and subscribe button if you haven't. Let us know what you want to see reviewed next, and we'll see you next time. Bye! Bye.